uh, Chris, you just uh, you talked this morning about how you know Ryan's sometimes your favorite player. Sometimes you have other favorite players. Who is your favorite player tonight? <laughs> um, I actually saw Ryan tonight, and I told him tonight he's my favorite. So, um, you know, two goals tonight. Obviously, on the power play, really big part of the penalty kill. Um, you know, he had a good game. A lot of guys had a good game. Front row left, Derek. Chris, did you sense this game coming? Because you guys, like you said, you played 52 good minutes the other night, and you wanted to put a 60-minute effort together. Do you sense this game coming? And is this as close to a full team effort or 60-minute effort that you got tonight? I think it was. Um, we're never going to play a 60-minute game at this point of the season where you dominate and you're the better team. And we, it, just, it just doesn't happen. They're, the other team just has too much to say, and they're a good team. Um, but tonight, through the playoffs, yeah, this probably might have been our best 60-minute effort. Um, yeah, and we're going to need more of that because, um, you know, going back for game six, uh, they're a very good team on the road. And, um, you know, we've treated this game, the same as last game, as a, as a must-win game. Um, game six will be a must-win game for us. Second row on the right, Nick. So Dreisaitl and McDavid passed Coffey on the Oilers' all-time list, so it's only Gretzky, Messier, Curry, Anderson ahead of them. In NHL history, only Gretzky and Lemieux have more points per game in the playoffs than they do. So my question is just this time of year, to see them produce that way, what, what are we watching right now? I, I, I can't answer that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's remarkable. It is quite an understatement to say um, what they've done. It is harder to score in the NHL, especially nowadays. And, um, you know, for them to elevate their game in the playoffs when every game's so tight checking and um, and then for, and to produce like that, it's, uh, you know, as a coach, it's nice having those guys on your bench, being able to put them over the boards, uh, not only with the expect or the um, expecting the um, – you know, producing offense for the team, but also playing a really solid defensive game too. Center on the right. Uh, Stuart Skinner didn't face a lot of action for stretches of the game, but late in that second and then the, in the third, he made several big saves. Can you just kind of talk about his play tonight and, you know, some of those big saves kind of early in the third where potentially could have turned a little bit? Yeah, I think the, the biggest uh, contribution he had tonight was on the penalty kill. Yes, he, there was a lot of big saves, and those big saves on the, especially on the penalty kill, where we, they were able to get some really good looks. And Stu was just solid. You know, he was square. He was um, quick. Um, you know, I think um, you know we went three one tonight, and I think that's a little um, skewed. I don't think we were that much better tonight. I think just the fact that Stu made so many big saves tonight. You know, gave us a little bit of cushion and um, made it look easier than it was for for our team. But uh, Stu obviously played a really good game. Third row on the left, Mark. Does it does it feel like you're taking over the series? Because it looks like it. It can change so quickly, from shift to shift, uh, game to game. Um, you know, we played a uh, the last 50 minutes, game five. We played really well overall. I thought we played really well. You know, in the third period, Dallas was the better team in the third period. I do like how we played, and I thought we did a pretty good job defending. But to say that we're taking over this series, I think that's um, getting ahead of ourselves. Um, I thought we had a good game, but to take over, no, I don't feel that. Center right, Tony. Good evening, Chris. Uh, Philip Roberg had a shift in the first period where he, where he bobbled the puck twice and then immediately came on the bench and Paul Coffey went over and talked to him for a quick second and kind of gave him a pat on the shoulders. Can you maybe talk about the presence of Paul Coffey and what it's meant to the defense core and the group as a whole on the bench? Yeah, no, Paul's been great. He's um, pushing buttons, pulling strings. Uh, I think he's done a really good job through the season doing that and knowing when to be hard on the guys and pushing to be better, and then also in a game like tonight where Roberg doesn't need any more pressure. He doesn't uh, need to be motivated, um, and then he makes a mistake, and, you know, for him to get a pat on the shoulder from a Hall of Fame defenseman who's running the defense tonight, you know, that means a lot to him, and, you know, I thought Broby 
has been in a really difficult situation. You know, game five was kind of a must-win game for us. And he came in and played really well. And then for him to come in tonight, I thought he just continued to build on his game and played really well. Center left, Daniel. Chris, this, this organization's five-on-five five game has continually made strides over the years, and I think we're seeing kind of the fruits of that labor now, especially in this series. But is it the power play that can maybe push you guys over the top? Um, you know, we saw that tonight. Can, can that be kind of the difference maker for this team? Um, you know, I think I was asked uh, this morning about um, our five-on-five five play. Um, obviously, special teams are so important, and our special teams have been really good throughout the playoffs. Um, but, you know, even if we're not getting power plays, we can still win games just playing five-on-five. Five. Um, I think we defend really well. I don't think we get enough recognition about how good the guys are and how committed they are to playing good defensive hockey. And that's just not through the playoffs. I think that they've done a really good job through the regular season also. Um, but the opportunities to get three power plays tonight definitely improves our chances of winning.